Hello ladies and gentlemen and welcome back to Puggeroo Plays and this is a very special Puggeroo Plays for me because this is um, something that I'm very excited about and I'm, I'm hoping to bring to you guys um, I'm sure you know the majority of the um, space fairing uh, community knows about this game by now but if there are some of you that don't um, and you just want to see some gameplay um, then you know by all means just check out this video I will be um, showing off my hangar and my ships that I've got uh, I've even got like notes and things because there's just so much to remember to, to tell you guys and to point out and explain to you some of the information um, obviously the links and things will be in the description below so yeah welcome to my uh, my hangar uh, this is, yeah, if I remember correctly, Revel and York, a uh, Revel and York hangar. Um, you've got the, the actual ship bay down there. And there's one of my ships there. It's a little bit blurry because it's through the glass, but yeah. Um, I don't, I can't honestly say how well this is going to come out in the video. Um, I'm running it at 60 frames per second, um, or at least I'm running the recording at 60 frames per second. Um, and of course the mic, I'm hoping that all the things just will work together and you know it'll come out really well. Um, we'll have a little bit of a fly around with the Vandal Swarm um, based uh, arena type thing, um, AI fighting against waves and waves of ships. Um, so yeah, very cool indeed. This is like one of the lobbies. Um, we should go down. Let's have a look. First of all, let's go down to the lovely Delta. Mustang Delta. The Mustang Delta. While it may not be able to go toe-to-toe -to -toe with some of the military-specific ships, by reinforcing the Mustang's already strong hull construction with consolidated Outland's own line of cavalry-class mass reduction armor, the Delta has a reduced cross-sectional signature that evens the playing field. The Mustang Delta is equipped with two wing-fixed guns, CF-117 badgers by Klaas and Werner, two pylon-mounted rocket pods, R-18s from Bering, and one unmounted turret, that's two M3A laser cannons again from Bering. There she blows, it's a beautiful little ship. Uh, Mustang Delta was bought my third ship I purchased. Um, the first one I'll show you in a second. But yeah, the uh, the first one was my pledge ship. Um, the whole like crux of it is you, you buy a ship and that is your pledge, um, which gains you access to certain things. Um, where is? Yeah, these are the things that I got um, with the Aurora LN, which cost me uh, $54, which is 35-ish pounds. Um, gave me starting money of 1,000 in-game money, which is uh, UEC. Three months insurance, because, well, you need insurance on a ship. Blow it up, you want it back. Um, Digital Star Citizen Manual, uh, Squadron 42 digital download, which is, um, as far as I'm aware, is a single player thing. Uh, you play through the campaign and everything, and I believe, like, you can skip Squadron 42, um, and you can start in a basic ship and then go out into the universe and do your thang, pirating, uh, trading, missions, um, police, you can do anything pretty much. Or you can go through Squadron 42, do your, um, tour as it were and earn up some money maybe get a better ship or something so that's what squadron 42 is going to be for um so i get this i got the star citizen citizen uh, digital download uh, of course i got beta access now for access and that's not this ship this is my fighter i wanted a fighter um so obviously this has got uh two laser cannons uh, on the side there the uh, the little these ones here and then you've got the two rocket pods on either side, and then the Gatling cannon. Um, obviously the Gatling cannon follows where you go. Um, so yeah, let's have a quick trip into this. Now everything on this uh, game so far, obviously, uh, is um, down to... Uh, 
you know, get, get buggy, things like that. It's, it's not a finished game in any way, shape, or form. But it still looks and plays beautifully. Um, so yeah, this is this is the cockpit. Um, massive, great big uh, open cockpit. I love this. I'm really excited for this. It's going to be cool. It hasn't got any heads-up display at the moment. Um, so yeah, this is my this is my little fighter. Uh, I'll show you some, uh, as I say, a, a AI kind of arena fighting. But yeah, as I say, not a finished game. So there are bugs. There are things where you sit in weird positions and you know things like that. But they uh, they have the bug smasher crew, which is brilliant to watch because they've got live streams. Star Citizen or, or Robert Space Industries is just the most amazing community out. The, their website's brilliant. Their shop where their ships are and everything, links in the description. Brilliant, you know. It's so much fun to just go on there every day and have a look. Um, and uh, yeah, it's pretty good. The Aurora LN. With a more robust shield generator and a pair of additional weapon hardpoints, the Legionnaire is a dedicated combat fighter built to handle any obstacle the universe can throw at you. The Aurora LN is equipped with two gimbal mount CF-007 Bulldogs from Class and Werner, a pylon mounted missiles that's four ASIM Marksman IIs, and with the very small but available sleeping area at the back of the ship, you can sleep on the job if you wish. Aurora LN, this is my pledge ship. Um, this was the one that I mainly got um, to be able to actually play the game and get the uh, the digital download. It's not the best ship. It's got the rockets, got guns, got Gatling guns, uh, fixed mounted. The only good thing about this ship is that it does have the capacity for you to be able to uh, sleep. So, um, if you were to, I, I believe, uh, if you were in-game and you were in, say, the Mustang Delta, you wouldn't be able to just quit out mid-game. I don't think you'd need to be able to fall asleep somewhere, uh, or at least dock it into a space station. But this ship has its own sleepy bay. You can put your head down, log out, do whatever you like, watch some TV. Is there some TV on this one? See, no TV. No TV. So yeah, that's pretty cool. Little sleepy bay. Oh, your head would definitely be in the ceiling there. You do not have room to sit up. <laughs> Jesus. So yeah, and then let's have a look at the quick look at the cockpit. Da -da -da -da. It's always there, that panel. It's been there for like it's been like that for ages. This might actually have more of a heads up display, the arena commander and everything. Maybe. No? Yeah, that panel on the side, it always like that. Oh you can't see it because Well yeah, you can see it there. Um right, so yeah, this has, doesn't have the arena commander display in anyway. Right, so let us go and have a look at my baby. The Constellation Andromeda, a multi-person freighter, is the most popular ship in RSI's current production array. Constellations are beloved by smugglers and merchants alike because they are modular, high-powered, and just downright iconic looking. The Constellation Andromeda is equipped with four gimbal-mounted M5A lasers from bearing, four pylon-mounted 7x S1 missile racks set on retracting arms, and two pylon-mounted top-loading 10x S2 missile racks. It also has two manned twin turrets, each having two CF337 Rhinos from Klaas and Werner, and in addition has a P-52 Merlin Close Range Fighter. Yeah, Constellation Andromeda, a multi-function ship and pretty much the best ship that I have in my arsenal at this precise moment. It is beautiful. It's so gorgeous. It is an unbelievable ship. Um, 
you've got access ports on the front there. Um, you've got a cargo capacity of 134. You've got a, um, oh god, what is it? A Merlin close range fighter, which is just at the back here, docked here. So you can access that through the inside of the ship there. The uh, five person crew max. Um, this is... can you get in here still? Hello? Yeah. This is the cargo bay. Oh, I love this. God, I do love this ship. This does... or at least did for me, uh, unfortunately, cost a pretty penny, but it was worth every single penny. Uh, you see a bit glitching there. Um, the animation for the the ladder thing probably isn't uh, complete or is I don't know maybe bugged out. Right, so this is the back of the ship. Um, I think are they just seats. Yeah, they're just seats. Uh, obviously, the back of the ship is access to the uh, the little Merlin fighter. For the purposes of the video, I've actually downgraded the graphics uh, from what I'm used to, but I, I want it to run smooth and look good-ish. Um, you've got beds. Hello, bed. Don't get in it. Ah, oh, goddamn it! Because I pulled away. You see, this is the kicker in the teeth. This is you'll see it ping inside. Maybe. Apparently, I'm I'm supposed to be fluffing up the pillow now. Uh, will I ping back into the bed? No? no, I'm just gonna. Yeah, there you go. So yeah, you've even got a TV on this one. See, so, yeah, there are bugs. So, you know, there are little things that they will be working on, obviously. But again, unfinished game, but pretty much beautiful for what it is so far. So yeah, check this out. So yeah, beds, toilet, space loo. Gotta have a space loo. Uh, and I believe shower. Yeah, it must be shower. Yeah, shower. Um, that's the exit. The portal to the new planets that you land on. There's nothing else around here. Nope. And here we go to the carpet. Right. So um, we got two hard mounted turrets. Uh, we'll go quickly have a look in the bottom one. Again, slightly buggy, seats are not there, but you know, what do you expect? He will ping into place in a second. There you go. So yeah, first mounted turret. Pretty cute. Boop, 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 boop. Unfortunately, this ship is an unflyable one at the moment. You've only got the small arena, um, AI fighting and uh, racing, and obviously free flight. Um, there's two areas that you can do, a few areas on, um, a few areas on the uh, race tracks and things like that. So it's always worth a, a check out just to make sure that they haven't updated something and put something in. A little bit lopsided there. There he is. Right. Okay. So, yeah, another mounted turrets for defence. Pretty cool. Oh. Clunk. Excellent. And then you got the lovely captain's chair. Oh, hello. This is where Puggeru will be sat. Demanding everybody to uh, go and do some flying about. So, yeah, co pilots. Love it. So, this is, yeah, my, my little baby, my investment in this game. Uh, I got quite. Um, I got this hangar with this ship, which is pretty cool. Yeah. So that is the 
Constellation Andromeda. Check that out. She's a beautiful ship. Alright. So yeah, the Arena Commander is basically the, um, the, the, I don't know what to call it really, the UI that allows you to, um, connect to the, uh, Arena Commander, as it were. This is just the little seat that allows you to, you can do it through the escape menu, but it's boring, this is a lot cooler. But Arena Commander is basically the UI, or the, uh, the Arena thing, uh, I can't even think of the word to call it, I'm probably laying a lot of people down now, but, mm. but yeah, so we got Free Flight, we got Vandal Swarm, which is the AI fighting, you can play with friends doing that one, which is pretty cool, then you got obviously Classic Races, awesome, so there are some things, Right, so if I go to Vandal Swarm, you'll, you'll see that I c I've got like the pick and bunch of uh, pretty much most, if not all, ships that are available in the game at the moment. That is only for a specific time amount. You, what they'll do is they'll give like a certain time duration. They'll bring out and say, "Here, test this ship, play this ship. It's pretty cool. You'll like it." Um, but the Mustang Delta is the one I like. I don't. I like window shopping, but for the moment, I've got the three ships. I've got the Aurora LM, which I'm going to use for um, exploration and things like that. I'm going to use the Delta for um, um, for fighting and everything. The Aurora I'll use for like short range, um, short range uh, exploration. Whereas the um, Constellation, yeah, the Constellation uh, Andromeda, which I will use for long range uh, f uh, exploration and everything which is pretty cool I'm, I'm really happy with the three ships that I've got at the moment um, so yeah shall we go in and have a look at a quick Vandal Swarm well thank you very much guys for watching uh, my little show and tell of my hangar um, I'm really sorry about the video choppiness, fingers crossed I will be getting that fixed soon. Uh, I implore you, go and pledge for a ship. This game is going to be brilliant if you like Freelancer Wing Commander. It's definitely going to be worth it. Thank you very much for watching, I'll see you again in the future episodes.